Hello, and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And today we're going to look at hereditary stomatocytosis. So I've never seen this before, Melissa, in person. I've only seen pictures. So This is the first time we're both seeing it. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, relatively rare morphology. Um... I think you see like uh you know <laughs> the most the most stomatocytes I've seen are like artifact from like an albumin preparation or something. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen them before in small numbers though. Right. I've never right. seen like a full stomatocytosis like this slide is. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah this is cool. Really overwhelming. Um so you used a term earlier that I like uh coin slot right mm -hmm. so it looks that central pallor isn't like round although of course you know some of the cells are fine right but um it isn't like round you could, looks like you could literally slot a coin in there yeah. um but yeah yeah coin so, slots that's what you know that's what the the textbooks will call a coin slot appearance so just imagine you're slipping a quarter into a piggy bank mm-hmm and uh, just to note, there are platelet clumps here. They're irrelevant. It's probably just like a hard draw or something. Um, it's not associated with stomatocytosis. Right. Yep. yep. Um, so yeah, stomatocytosis is a mild hemolytic anemia usually, from what I understand. Yeah, yeah so there's two. There's overhydrated and then there's dehydrated stomatocytoses. And for both of them, they're both pretty mild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right, right. And these uh these have some kind of um uh inherited issue with the ion channels in yeah. one or the other, right? Causing either the dehydration or the mm -hmm. overhydration. Yeah. Um, and you'd think, which is interesting, because usually with more mild anemias, you'd think you'd see that more prevalently. Right. But it's not. You i like we said, we've never seen this, so Yep. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, well, I, I think them from a demographics point of view. <gasps> I was uh this is like a Asian associated mutation I forget I don't yeah. know I don't yeah. know the prevalence to be honest yeah mm. but I know it's rare regardless of the which populations you find it in yeah really neat yeah so, so let's just look around and see the, the different because they don't all look like we have some really nice coin slots here but some of them are a little bit different. Subtle, so let's right? just kind of look around and see. Sure, sure. I'd actually be interested to see like what happens at like the f extreme feathers and stuff. And hmm. it's definitely kind of in your face. <laughs> it definitely is, and and you can tell they're not target cells or the codocytes because right. you know you don't have the circle and then this the hemoglobin in the center and it also doesn't look like when you have codocytes on their side where they can look kind of odd these definitely look like stomatocytes mm -hmm. yeah all right well i'll go to the feathered edge now so that we can see what that looks like yeah just out of curiosity sake here surprises really i guess but yeah although i do think this does a really good job at um, demonstrating how when you go too close to the feathered edge you can lose that central pallor yes yeah it is yeah and, and then when you start to come in here so you're still like thin right but like now we're starting to see the uh the development of the stomatocytes all right let's go to the thicker end Sure. Definitely still there, but more subtle than I expected it to be, to be honest. That's cool. I think you can tell there's something wrong. It's just harder mm -hmm. to differentiate whether you're dealing with codocytes or stomatocytes here. Yeah, yeah. There's like the occasional like, yeah. That's really neat. Something different. All right, let's go back to the good end area. Okay. 
Well, with hereditary stomatocytosis, I, your white cells really aren't impacted. And then like Dave said earlier, the platelets really aren't impacted. So it's really just the stomatocytoses that we're seeing in the red cells. I don't think there's a whole lot else. No, not really. Yeah. These patients, I think, generally speaking, um, live a meaningful, <laughs> meaningful life. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's all we have for this video. So thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like notifications whenever we post a new video. And feel free to reach out to us on social media or via email with comments or suggestions about future content. Thanks.